Hello everyone, today I'm going to explain to you how your organization can take part in the European Union's 3 billion tree pledge. If your organization planted trees in the EU and would like to register them, this video is going to take you through the necessary steps. First of all, you will need to make sure that your tree planting meets the necessary criteria to be eligible to count towards the pledge. Check out our website where you can find more information on the criteria such as ecological principles and additionality that your planted trees need to meet in order to be counted towards the pledge. For example, we can go to how does it work. Here we have a lot of information. Now that you're sure your organization's planting project is eligible, I'm going to guide you through a few necessary steps to report your planted trees. You will first need to create an account on ReportNet3. You can do this using your first and last name and a corporate email of your organization. Once you have set up your ReportNet account, in order to be validated as a reported to the MapMyTree data flow, send an email to env-3billiontrees at ec.europa.eu containing your organization's credentials and the email you used to set up the ReportNet account. Once your organization has been created and you are the list reporter of your own organization, you will be able to log in in ReportNet 3 and have in the citizen science data flows one big card called MapMyTree, that is the data flow we want to go. When we enter the data flow, we have the following buttons. First of all, the data flow help, this yellow button, then we have two reference datasets. Afterwards, we have the MapMyTree dataset where we are going to report all the information right there. And finally, the release to data collection button when, where we release the data that we have reported previously in the MapMyTree dataset. If we go to the Dataflow help, you will be able to download the declaration of honor in your respective language here, clicking in the file icon column. This will be necessary for reporting in the MapMyTree dataset afterwards. Now let's show you how to report the different data in the MapMyTree data flow. We click in the MapMyTree dataset button and here we have three different tables, organization information, the pledge and the parcel. In all of places you can see info buttons to indicate you how the fields tables are have to be filled. In the organization information, you have here already one record by default that you will have to fill clicking in the edit button in the left part of the screen. Here you have a lot of different information from your organization that you will have to fill and click the save button right here. Once the organization information is filled, we can continue with the pledge tab. In this tab, we have three different fields, the pledge ID, the pledge name, and the declaration of honor. To complete this, we will click in the add record button, fill the pledge ID that has to be a number. For example, if it's the first pledge, we can put the number one as an a unique identification, and then we can put the pledge name, and we click save. Once the record is saved, you can come here to the Declaration of Honor column, click the Upload icon, and select the file you previously had to download and filled from the Dataflow Help page. After filling it up, I upload it here, click the Upload button, and the file will be uploaded. This Declaration of Honor corresponds to this pledge ID. So if we add a new pledge, the declaration of honor will be a new one. Now we are going to the last tab, to the parcel tab. 
Here we will click again the Add Record button. Exactly the same way we did for the pledges, for the pledge ID, I'm going to do the same for the parcel ID. As it's my first parcel, I will assign the number one for this parcel ID field. We need to put a number, a unique identifier for this parcel. The next field is the pledge ID. So I have to select for this parcel which pledge corresponds. In this case, as I only have one pledge, it's from the pledge ID 1. Then I will fill the parcel coordinates. You can input the latitude and longitude manually or cl by clicking this map icon and double clicking in the spot you, you have planted your trees. Then we click save and the latitude and longitude are filled up. Then we have to report more information from the parcel, like the area, parcel ownership, code not tree, that here you can have a guidance how to select the code not tree for your planted trees, the type tree, number of the trees, planting year, type of land, type of the action, total cost, some aftercare information, and some add information. Once you filled up the three tabs of information, you have to validate the dataset. Here you click validate and confirming this dialog, you will validate the data. Once the validation finished, you will have a notification and this refresh button will be highlighted. The process could cost, depending on the number of records, from, from 5 to 10 minutes. Here we will click refresh and we will click the show validations buttons to check if everything is alright. As we don't have any kind of errors, we are ready to release to data collection. You will be able as well if you don't have blocker level errors. Now we go back to the previous page and here you will be able to release to data collection. We click this big button and we confirm the release. After the release to data collection process has finished and the different processes, export processes automatic from Reponet3 have finished, you can go to mamaitree.eea.europa.eu and see your planted trees in our map. Help us reach our target and make our planet greener. Thank you very much.